All right, so this is part five of the custom bed frame build, and this video is just going to be uh, shots of the progress that I've made so far with me just sort of uh, talking over uh, parts that I think may need uh, or that I just want to explain a little bit further. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, part, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe and also catch the, uh, the previous uh, four parts of this build, and thanks for watching. I started using my Dremel to cut the uh, excess bolt off, but realized that I'd be going through a lot of uh, discs doing that. Uh, so I switched to my pneumatic cutoff wheel. My air compressor that I have right now isn't quite big enough to keep it going, so just cut a notch uh, in the bolt and then uh, bend the uh, bolt back and forth and break it off with uh, pliers. This is a, uh, what I'm putting in here is a five or a six inch, uh, it's a Spax uh, lag uh, screw or bolt. And uh, they say they don't require pre-drilling and so far with the smaller screws, I haven't had any issues with splitting, but I went ahead and I pre-drilled uh, the hole in the corner brace uh, just to make sure that that uh, two by four didn't, didn't split when putting that, that screw in. So here I'm putting on one of the uh, side supports. Um, so it'll actually be four of these, one on the one on each side, and uh, one on the head, and one on the foot. Um, just putting some glue on, and then I'll uh, um, screw it in. Um, you'll notice that the corner uh, braces and uh, these side supports and the foot supports are all even with the um, with the uh, the feet um, in relation to the the outer uh, two by six uh, frame piece. So that way, the uh, the uh, the plywood that goes on top of all these is even and flush with the uh, the outer two x six frame. So this is the foot of the bed, and you'll notice that I'm using uh, two uh, smaller pieces to make up the uh, the support uh, for it. And I did the same thing on the head of the bed, just uh, as a way to use uh, some scrap or, or sh just short, shorter pieces of uh, of two by four that I had, uh, um, rather than cutting a, a full length piece down to down to size. Put the glue on the wrong side. So once all the supports were in place uh, for the sides and the head and the foot of the bed, I screwed the uh, plywood on around the perimeter uh, into those supports. Um, and then uh, I flipped the frame over to work on the rest of the uh, support structure. Now, going into this, I didn't quite know how I was going to handle attaching the center leg or uh, the center support um, 
I tried these corner brackets, but I just didn't feel like they were grabbing enough of the four by four for it to work very well. So I came up with a uh, different solution. You can see that the uh, the uh, first two supports here uh, changed a little bit. Um, I am putting in the corner brackets uh, in this shot, but those actually end up coming out as part of the uh, the solution for the uh, center leg. Which, that's actually easier to show than explain, so I'm just going to let the uh, video do the talking. All right, so that's the main uh, structure of the bed basically completed. Uh, the only thing I need to do is flip it uh, up, right side up and uh, put some screws in the plywood into the, uh, the stringers going along there. Um, you may or may not notice uh, from previous shots, the brackets uh, that are holding up the uh, stringers 
uh, I changed those out. I don't know what exactly happened, but when I was went to uh, Home Depot uh, to, to buy the stuff, the supplies for this, uh, somehow I came out of the store with these, even though I had my plans with me, and I knew that I wanted to use a regular uh, joist hanger. I'm not sure why I came out of, came out with these, but anyway, the other night when I was working on this, uh, getting the getting the uh, the stringers uh, in place, I thought, well, you know what, these are fine, right? But actually, I didn't. I wasn't just. I wasn't feeling them. Uh, I don't know that it was any. These are any stronger or weaker. But I don't know. I just. I feel better about these. Uh, the holes are spread out more. Um, these are kind of close to the edge. Get kind of close to the edge of the two by four. Uh, so there's not. They're not. Uh, the screws aren't getting as much uh, meat when they're put in. Um, so anyway. So I. You know. Just. Uh, you know, four screws on e or two screws on either side, and then just one in uh, through there to uh, to attach it uh, to the uh, to the two by four. All right, so that does it for part five of the custom bed frame build. Uh, if you liked this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe so you can catch the rest of the parts uh, of this series. We're getting close to the end, close to the uh, final product. So you don't want to miss that. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.